sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. We're looking at a uh, TYT THUV88 analog two-way radio. Now, this is a dual band, uh, two meter and 70 centimeter uh, radio here. Now, this is an entry level type TYT, so we can kind of put this with a UV5R, and a lot of people are obviously familiar with them. But this is a little bit, I would say, in my book, an upgrade from the uh, UV5R. So it comes with a cable to program. Then obviously your battery charger. Let me see if I can move this back a little bit. Then a CD for your driver. Then obviously your battery, antenna, and the radio. And your clip. So, Let's look at the antenna here. It's a small antenna, not very long. There's the bottom. Then obviously your clip. <clears throat> your battery, it's pretty lightweight. Fourteen hundred million. Then the main part, the radio. Then we have our buttons over here. So let's just go ahead. Hook that up, like such, and we'll turn it on. All right, so there we go. Now this is supported by Chirp to program. So that is one nice feature. Now here it is with the antenna on. And let's measure the antenna here. So overall is like five and a quarter, five and a half. Radio. So that'll give you a nice Here's your charger. Then the belt clip. And um, oh, there's the hardware for the belt clip. I about throw it away. So what we're going to do here, try to keep this in my camera, not doing a good job. Got your little button here to push down, then we'll slide off the battery, maybe, there we go. I'm going to tear this apart, so I don't recommend this. Especially when it's brand new, you haven't even tried it out yet. But we're going to open this guy up and see what's going on. So, all right, so there's that. And let me see if we can get this open. All right, so I took this nut off that holds the SMA in, and there's two screws here and a little bit of just easy prying. 
we might be able to get this out. So, we don't want to do too much because the speaker wears, but here's a little bit of what it looks like inside. I'm not going to go any further than this, but uh, just thought I would share that a little bit. And we can just easily put it back into place. And there's what it looks like without the nut on. Now this nut's underneath there, so don't have to worry about that guy, but we do have this one here. So we'll just have to tighten that up, but I'll do that off camera. But anyway, there we go. And uh, hopefully this kind of helps out if you're looking into getting yourself one of these. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for...